Hi, George here. And today I want to show you around the WinXD Video Converter Deluxe that I have sitting right down here. Now this video is sponsored by WinXD. So let's take a look and see what we have in here. Now, this is a great program for converting video formats from one format to another. And the reason why you may want to do that nowadays is because there are so many different video formats and you may be using different devices to record that video. For instance, you may record the video on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android smartphone or a regular camera, or you may be recording right off of the screen with a screen capture utility. Lots of ways you may be recording video and they may be coming down in different file formats. You may also be downloading video from the internet. And again, those may be coming down in different file formats. Let's take a look at this very quickly up here. We'll be focusing on the video button right here. And I'll open up a sample video right here. I have several MKV video files. Let's just choose this one at the beginning here. Choose open. That loads that in. And then here's our output profile. Now in here, we can see some of the many different file formats that you may be getting video in. Apple device right here, Android pad, mobile, Microsoft device, Sony device. If I scroll down and see there's just tons and tons of ways that you may be getting video. And you may want to be able to easily convert those all into one file format so you can then use those in your editing. Normally most editing nowadays is done in the MP4 format. So it's kind of the default one to go for. We have two basic MP4 formats. There is a regular MP4 and there's also a higher quality 4K MP4 that's being used quite a bit nowadays as well. Before we finish off this, let's just go back here, take a quick look around and look at the workspace in here. So we have our first button there, as you saw, this allows you to add in a video. And we'll see kind of video frames back there in the plus sign for adding in a video. If I didn't have this here and have just this logo, Notice that this logo is the exact same thing as that logo up there. So this actually is the same button as that button right there. It's kind of the main thing that this program does. Click on that same thing again, and let's bring that video back in again. And get that out of the way. Notice when it loads in up here, it also loads in over here right hand side in a little video preview window. We can click on this and actually preview our video. This is a real short clip just for this one demo I'm doing here. So a little five second clip. There we go, quick and easy to see that. And down below here, we have several options. First, there is a built-in hardware accelerator and what it's gonna be doing is taking a look at your computer system and determining the best accelerator to use. Mine currently happens to have Intel, it's my motherboard, Nvidia, and AMD, so it has all those checked. Below here, you can choose to use a higher quality engine. It takes just a little bit longer, but this actually is a very quick program in any case, so I'll have that one checked. If your video has interlacing in it, and that is where it plays every other line per frame, this is common for video that's been broadcast on TV. TV is interlaced. So if you have TV video or video from TV, you may have some interlacing in there. This will take care of and get rid of that. For most other video uses, you can just leave that unchecked. If I had several videos open over here and I can have more than one open, let's just demonstrate that real fast. I'll just pull on a second video here just for an example. So if I have multiple videos over here, I could merge those into one output video. You can see it right there. Let's just uncheck that. So you can merge multiple videos as well, kind of using this as a way to quickly edit videos together. It's a real rough cut, obviously. Let's just take that out. So you have that option. Also, there's this auto copy option, which is kind of interesting. Whenever video is recorded, is recorded with a certain built-in set of settings. Those are called the codec and different video file formats have different codecs. If you use auto copy, it's going to keep the original codec. In most cases, this will be okay. And this will be much faster since the video doesn't have to be re-encoded again. So I try that first. It makes for a faster conversion. If this doesn't work for you, then just uncheck that and do it again. So once you've made all of your settings, go over here and click on run, it will then run that. But before we do that, let's finish our look around here at the interface. Bottom side down here, this is your destination folder. Now by default, it's going to be taking you into your default videos folder and into a WinX videos folder, which is automatically made for you. Now you don't have to use this. You can browse to a different location if you want to. That's just the default location. I'll leave this one in the default. Up here on our little window right here, this shows you information about this particular video. This one has no audio in it. And down here, no subtitle. But if I had an SRT file, which is a text-based file, a specific kind of a text-based file, which contains code for timestamps or timestamp code along with captions, I could import that here 
and bring it in. So if I happen to have closed captioning for this, I could bring it in right there and include that. Right hand side right here, we have the output settings. Let's just adjust our output. Click on this little control right here. And I'm gonna choose just a basic MP4 video output right there. That's the recommended, there's several recommendeds in here. All of these would work out well. If I scroll down, these are kind of the, your defaults. Here's the 4K video. If you wanna go up to 4K MP4, I'll just leave this at the regular MP4. It gives you the codec right here. Right hand side, low quality and high quality. I'll leave this at the default middle setting, which in most cases is just fine. If you want perfect quality, then just push this clear up to the top and go for the high quality, which may take just a little longer for that to process. I'll leave it at the basic middle setting. So you can choose different settings in here. These are the recently used ones that I've used in the past. There are some general profiles in here. There are a lot of these, as you can see, here's your iPhone, iPad. Here's the WebM video file format. And as we looked at previously, you can choose very specific file formats for other things over here, including choosing your use for the video and then the export will be adjusted to match the proper use. For instance, if I wanted to do a video for YouTube, I could choose this one, or Facebook, I could choose that one. But we'll leave this at our current setting up here, which is that MP4 video, that's fine. Choose OK, that's set in. I can now take a look at a little more detail about that. Here's my codec, frame rate, resolution, keeping all those at the original settings, although I could change it if I wanted to, but I'll keep those at the originals. Same thing down here for the audio. Mine has no audio. So in this case, this doesn't matter. Choose OK. Now down below here, a few things. We have info, basic information about this particular video clip. Close that down. You can come in and do some real basic editing. This doesn't replace a standard editor, but it does allow you to look at your subtitle, do crop or expand, and do trimming in there. So you can do a little bit of basic editing. Now if you want to, you can rename your file. It's gonna be saving it into this location, and if the file was not in that location, that's fine, no problem. I'm changing my file format from MKV over to MP4, so that could also wouldn't matter if they were in the same location with the same name. But if you want to change the name, just click on Rename. You can then type in a new name right down here. Notice here's the current name, and here's where I would type in the new name. I can put in an artist in here, or you know, producer, videographer, whatever, genre and comment. So I can add a bit of basic metadata in here for the video. I'll leave all that alone. So as you can see, there's really not that much to it, just a few basic decisions that you have to make. And you're then all set to go ahead and do your conversion. And for that, all you have to do is just hit that run button. Let's click on run now again. This is just a six second video, five and a half second video. Click on run, it's gonna convert very fast. And there it is, that's all it took. But it was almost instantaneous. Choose okay, and there we go. And there is our converted video. Notice that it's in that location that we already chose, MP4. Let's just see how this looks. I'll bring this up in my video player right here. And that looks great. Get out of the way. So there you go, very, very easy to use. This is an inexpensive program, but you can get a free trial for this as well if you wanna go ahead and see how this runs before making any purchase choice. Again, an inexpensive program and one of those tools that I always have available for myself whenever I'm working with video. This is one of those standard tools I have sitting on my desktop in case I need to be doing conversions. Now take a look in the description and I have a link down there to get more information about this. Also where you can download that free trial version, the free demo version, see if you like how this runs. And at the moment, WinXD is also running a contest. Go ahead and give that contest a try as well. No reason not to. And I'll put that link in the description also. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.